Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's alright this morning. On our prayer request, Kim Tunney is an MS patient. She had a very bad sore and had it operated on. Uh, her surgery went well. Um, let us know if Kim needs more uh, prayer. Uh, whoever gave this one to me. Uh, let me know how she's doing or us know. Uh, hopefully she's doing much better. Uh, continue to pray for all the families who have lost loved ones in Hawaii. And Adam's going from the UK to Poland next week. Pray that he has a safe journey. Uh, Adam, I, I think it's been a, about a week, so I don't know if you've already gone. Let us know if you still need um, prayers if you haven't you know, got there yet or whatever. And... Diane Parker went to the ER and found out she has COVID. Pray she doesn't get too sick and gets better quickly. Uh, Gary would like prayers for the families where he lives who lost loved ones. Lisa needs prayer for her vertigo. It's acting up. Pray for Joan. She has hospice at home. She Pray she goes peacefully and without fear. Pray for her daughter and her husband that are taking care of her for strength. And pray for Terry, who is battling the end stages of ALS. Okay. All right, our scripture today comes from Philippians 3, 4 through 14. Let's close this. Though I myself have reasons for such confidence... If someone else thinks they have reasons to put confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, in regard to the law, a Pharisee as for zeal, persecuting the church as for righteousness based on the law faultless. But whatever were gains to me, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more... I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ and be, and be found in him, not having a righteousness of my own that comes from the law, but that which is through faith in Christ, the righteousness that comes from God on the basis of faith. I want to know Christ, yes, to what was that through? I'm sorry. Okay. And know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death, and so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it. But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Okay. All right. And our devotion today is entitled, I'm Nobody, Who Are You? Let me get a drink of water. In a poem that begins, I'm Nobody, Who Are You? Emily Dickinson playfully challenges all the effort people tend to put into being somebody, advocating instead for the joyful freedom of blissful anom anom anonymity. For how dreary, dreary to be somebody, how public like a frog to tell one's name, the lifelong June to an admiring bog. I guess that's what she had uh, wrote. Finding freedom and letting go of the need to be somebody in some ways echoes the testimony of the Apostle Paul. Before he met Christ, Paul had a long list of seemingly impressive religious credentials, apparent reasons to put our confidence in the flesh. But encountering Jesus changed everything. When Paul saw how hollow his religious achievements were in light of Christ's sacrificial love, he confessed, 
I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. His only remaining ambition was to know Christ, the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. It's dreary indeed to attempt on our own to become somebody, but, no, but to know Jesus, to lose ourselves in his self-giving love and life, is to find ourselves again, finally free and whole. When have you experienced freedom from seeking self-worth, self-worth and achievement from or from others? How can finding yourself in Christ free you from both pride and self-rejection? Loving God, thank you that I don't need to try to be somebody to be loved and accepted by you. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning devotions, early prayer requests and morning devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day and our great morning and i'd love to see you later on on morning coffee break bye everyone and god bless